Okay. So he has yeah. the Team Rhino logos on, and he's racking the East Coast Jiu Jitsu as well. Two Solomon will be a very, very uh, active competitor. And uh, we're in the blue belt match here now, so it's six minutes. And we also have heel hooks. So the rules of this uh, this uh, fight here is there are no rules. So basically <laughs> everything goes. Anything goes. And yeah, you just see the difference between the blue and the white from the get-go. Straight off the mark. Yeah. Nice little entry into the single leg. Solomon trying to get the single leg, get onto the outside of that single there. Um, and picks up a single up of his own. He goes high with it. Yeah, very nice. Good. Controlling the legs, not allowing uh, Mohammed to, uh, to jump back up. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Mohammed happy to play this upright guard though, yeah. and uh, another guy from the jungle BJJ in Dublin. Impressive, uh, impressive squad here today with the guys. So high guard here, yeah, very, very attacking guard there. Well that you see is. the difference there. Solomon's not gonna hang around in close guard. Solomon knows. Post posture. And up and out. All day. He's not going to wait around for neckties or some of the breaks posture down there. Knee slide pass into side control. Has the underhook. Very nice. We see the flexibility from Muhammad. He's working his guard back. Yeah, he looks like a guard oriented yeah. uh, competitor here with those flexible hips. But he's back up on his feet. He wants to give it a shot he's up here. Happy enough there just to re establish and get a breath and go at it again. Nice little foot sweep attempt there from Muhammad. Hand fighting here. Uh, Muhammad gets a necktie. Let's see if he can make something work from there. Two on one for Solomon. Very strong grip. Gets the body lock. Let's go. Two on one again. Uh, Mohammed pulls guard there, and Solomon gets the pass off that, but uh, not for long because Mohammed just uh, he's got very good guard retention. Little, little Gramby roll there, and he was back in to attack from his guard. As Tom said, yeah, he I think he's uh, he doesn't mind being on the bottom here, and he's got those flexible hips and is well able to make those angles to get 100%. a few attacks off. And you can see the pace, yeah. see the pace, yeah. like they just they know when to go and know yeah. when to relax, you yeah. know. Yeah. 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 Solomon with the high, very good, good takedown there. He gone high with the single leg, very effective uh, yeah. to go high with the single leg. Go low and then switch straight away to the high one, and you get that effect where their foot leaves the ground and you get a big turnover. Yeah, you get some air time. There yeah, yeah, Re like really there's nice a few takedown. Kind of soft takedowns there, but that was kind of like a dominance thing. Yeah, yeah, like he's like, he he's used yeah. to doing that. He's yeah. like, but like I think even for a confidence driving the wind out, Muhammad yeah, like same. Right, you want to stand up? <laughs> yeah, I'll show you, yeah. Here we go, again, back on the feet. Yeah. I think Solomon knows that he's tricky on the back. He doesn't want to get led into a... Yeah, leg locks around. Yeah, yeah hooks exactly, exactly, yeah. Very, uh... He's very aware of what's going on here. Again, fight IQ as well. Like yeah, I know exactly. it's six minutes, but you could look at a little three, little two-minute rounds. Yeah, exactly. No, yeah. you're not going to land loads of submissions in no. those first two minutes. No, no. You know, when it comes to the higher you're levels. each other out. Yeah. Getting to know each other's game. Good little knee block there yeah. in the uh, takedown there. Solomon's wrestling is uh, high. high. Uh, he's doing very well with them. He's um, getting oh. two or three takedowns yeah. there. But uh, let me tell you, uh, Mohammed has that crazy high guard as soon as he gets a... Yeah. S as soon as Solomon enters into the guard, it's tricky, and I think Solomon knows it, and he pulls over because he knows that he's getting set up here. It's a good example of like the guy on top knowing that it's all about posture, and the yeah, guy in bottom yeah, yeah. knowing posture as well. Like yeah, yeah, exactly. Good the pass there by the Solomon. Good, good heavy shoulder pressure there. Um, this is what he needs to do for Muhammad because he's very tricky. He's got good movement, so yeah. he needs to pin he's him and keep him tight. tight. Yeah. Get those Good hip movement there. Right. See him uh, getting. He, he reversed his hip back towards the legs and then trapped the arm with a yeah. really nice technique there to trap that arm. So maybe he's working on isolating and maybe heading for an arm bar on that side. It's Kamora, oh. whoa. Solomon gets it's the finish there. there. Yeah. Those, the first two minutes, yeah. those first two minutes were all about feeling out yeah. and then. Yeah. A typical, typical uh, blue belt competition. Yeah, uh, Solomon's experience there. Yeah. yeah.